Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, I'm a summer intern here at Autodesk, and today I'm here with Tamara and Kurt. Tamara is product manager for Inventor Publisher, and Kurt is the technical marketing manager for a few Autodesk programs. So thanks so much for both of you uh, for being interviewed, and I've been playing with the app. It's really incredible. Uh, Tamara, do you want to tell us a little bit about the app? Sure. Um, so we leveraged our existing Inventor Publisher technology to create um, a skinned version of our app so that uh, users will be able to build the new Mindstorms uh, robots in 3D. When can users check out the app? Or where? Great question, Andy. It's actually available now on the Apple and Android devices. And the key thing that it's free. So definitely check it out. How did Autodesk get involved in the creation of the app? So Autodesk and LEGO have a, a long-standing relationship. Uh, LEGO uses one of our M&E products called Maya to create a lot of their 3D geometry that they use for lots of different things, all the way from um, their TV shows all the way to the, the 2D documentation that you get in the booklets today. Um, so it was just a natural fit for a publisher to come in and be able to use that 3D content um, and present it in an environment that's really simple and intuitive and unintimidating for uh, non-engineers to use that complicated engineering data to push and pull the geometry and create some simple animations that we could show on the iPads. This app uh, really is an improvement from 2D instruction booklets and it's exciting that Autodesk gets to be a part of that. Kurt, what do you see coming uh, in the future for this technology and for technical documentation? You know, I know you mentioned 2D booklets, and that's kind of something that we're moving away from. We all grew up with Legos, opening up 2D booklets and putting things together, but we're, now, we're not having customers actually leverage this Autodesk technology and use it on mobile devices. Uh, we have one customer that actually spends $250,000 a year on paper, printed paper. So now they're thinking they can you know, move a lot of their technical documentation on, from, from manufacturing for assembly instructions to now mobile devices to not only be more environmental friendly and make an environmental impact. So there are a lot of great changes going on in today's society, and I think Autodesk and our technology is really going to be pushing and driving in that direction. So it sounds like you can do some really cool things with Publisher, and a lot of companies can benefit from this technology. What can people do to stay informed? So we've got um, a current product offering online today. You can go to autodesk.com and search for Publisher and download a free 30-day trial to play with it if you'd like. Um, we're also investing pretty heavily in the product, and we have some, some cool new uh, things coming out in the next release. If you want to stay involved with some of the beta programs or the usability sessions that we offer um, in some different cities around the U.S., um, you can contact us on Facebook or on the Autodesk discussion forums to stay informed. And also keep in mind, too, is that we're going to be at Autodesk University in Las Vegas December 3rd through the 5th. So please look out for us. We're going to have a couple different discussion groups going on, as well as some, some hands-on exercises to really test out the latest and greatest technology that we're coming out with uh, Autodesk Publisher. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Well, uh, thanks so much for being interviewed. Uh, sounds like a lot's going on with Publisher, and it's really exciting. Thank you. Thank you.